Hi, I hope you're having a wonderful day. It's Mac here, and today I'm going to repot this really cool philodendron. And this is philodendron black cardinal. I bought this really at, at a B and Q, which is like a Home Depot if you're in the U.S. Lowe's. And this was only two fifty, so I got two for five pounds, which is roughly about three dollars and some change. And to pick up this beautiful philodendron for that awesomely low price, I don't know why they had that sale or why it was so good, but hey, I was not complaining. I have another philodendron which is like this. I'm not sure if it's the exact same variety as this one, and maybe the same, and maybe a little different. But I love Lacuse Pun and I love these semi hydroponic pots. I have been using these almost extensively. All my indoor plants, I'm switching them over to Lacuse Pun and I'm switching over to the semi hydroponic pot. So you can see that this pot is larger than the pot that it's in. I have this cool tray here, which means that I don't really care if I get dirt in this tray. That's fine. I love the roots on these beautiful philodendrons. Look at that, that nice red root. You can see it's a little root bound, but that's fine. What we're gonna do here is just kind of tease all of this soil substrate off. Don't need it. It's a little easier sometimes to do this if the plant is actually dry. If it's a little dry, it's a little easier. But I, some people are obsessive and they want every speck of soil off of the plant. And I don't, you know, I'm kind of in between. I want to get as much as I can out of there. Um, another way, if you really want to get even more of the soil, get those roots kind of unraveling there. If you want to get even more of the soil out, you can use water. Just make sure you're doing it outside because this type of soil will clog your drains really quickly. I know I'm speaking from experience. I'm like, oh, I just used the sink drain in here uh, in the washroom and that didn't go well. Had to clean that out. A lot of dirt got in there. So I don't advise that. I suggest you use a holes outside or something if you have that opportunity. But I really am enjoying switching to semi hydroponic. I'm enjoying using Lacusa Pond. Once I get all this soil off this plant, I am kind of creating indoor plants that are all soilless. And most plants are doing really well. My other philodendrons that I've put over uh, leafed out well. I have one binding philodendron, which is starting to trail off really well. And the growth there is great. These semi hydroponics, well, got a little dirt in my mouth, all right. These semi-hydroponic pots are great because they have that little meter there, which lets me know when it's time to, um, there's the original plug. This is the plug that it grew out of. I don't know if you can kind of make that out. There's that original plug. And I really don't want to pull hard enough to get that plug out of there. But just kind of work here. I realize I'm going to lose some of these roots and it, it takes a, it's a little hard on the plant, but there we go. I think this is, to me, for me in the way I like to do it, this is pretty good. Uh, we had a Bit of shedding on roots. I like this one longer root. I want to call it like a tap root. That root looks good there. I really enjoy doing this. It's just kind of something I find and I love the fact that using Lacusa Pond, it just works so well. I love the substrate a lot. It just goes really well with what I'm trying to do. And I, But I will admit, it, it doesn't work great for every single plant. Now I moved over some aloe and just kind of take this in here and spread these roots out as best you can because you don't want them to bunch up and group up. Now, it may not be in this particular pot for very long. And really, I may want it to just rinse that off. But I'm just going to go. We're going to go with it. We're going to go with it. I know it'll be okay. We're just going to go. There we go. I just kind of... I have heard in the U.S. that people are having a hard time. Oh, you don't know what? I almost forgot something. So I was in Target and they have this, they call it root, soil and root food, but it's actually a mycorrhizal fungi, which is not really a food. It actually helps transport nutrients into the roots. And I use a different kind. This is my first time using this one. I should have put it in there a little sooner, but I like to sprinkle, even with this, with this Lacusa pond, I like to sprinkle um, this. There we go mycorrhiza fungi in there because it's going to grow in between the little you know pebbles here and what it's going to do is it's going to connect to these fine root hairs and it's going to expedite nutrient transplant out of the soil out of this lacusa pond and into the plant so it's 
not quite root food, but it really kind of works in that way. So I can understand why they would simplify it and just call it root food. But I love using these two things. I'm falling in love with all my indoor plants, switching them over to Lacuse and Pond and adding in mycorrhizal fungi. Now, one another thing that I'm starting to think about adding in is a little bit of bone meal as well. I haven't done that yet, but I was thinking about adding some bone meal to my indoor plants and the mycorrhizal fungi and just kind of create my own little mix. I haven't added the bone meal yet, but I just was thinking the, the plants could probably benefit from a little bit more phosphorus, a little more nitrogen. It just as a bone meal, I find it to be a really just a nice, it doesn't burn when you use it. Uh, especially if you don't use too much. Of course, follow the instructions on whichever brand you buy. But I just find it goes really well for the plants. All right, I'm a huge fan of the Cues of Pond. I like using semi-hydroponic. Now all my indoor plants are switching over to it. And, but this is not a Lacusa pot. This is just an off-brand pot. Works really well, has the same functionality. And uh, this I picked up from Target. I think it's, uh, we'll see how it works out. I know I have another brand that I normally use. Give me just a second. This is the brand that I normally use for my myco mycorrhizal fungi. I normally use this brand, which is a good brand. But I figured I'd try this one. I didn't want to mix them. I just want to see what this works looks like. See if I get any enhanced plant growth using this one. Of course, it'll take a little time for me to tell, and I won't be able to tell with just this one. But I like the packaging on this. I think it's really cool. Looks good. Have this mycorrhizal fungi, and I have this one as well. That's it, guys. We repotted up this philodendron black cardinal, and I'm going to get this set up in the house here. I think it's going to go really well. I'm going to take this, put it in the plant room water it really well not too much but definitely to where this meter is reading pretty high this time though i will kind of water around the whole pot to make sure that all those plant all the roots get a bit of moisture on them i won't just water in one spot i definitely want to water all the way around make sure all those roots get a nice bit of moisture sit this in a nice shade place shady place get a little bit of sun i don't want to burn it of course you have to be concerned about that with philodendrons at all times anyways and i think it'll do really well hopefully i can show it to you here in a few months and you can see a lot of expansive growth I have another one that's doing really well, also in Locusa Pond. All right, that's it, guys. Until next time, take care. Mm -hmm.